Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, host of the Power Vertical podcast, and this is The Daily Vertical. Vladimir Putin's always been a very good storyteller. First, he told a story about how he was the man who restored order, saved Russia from the chaos of the 90s, battled the oligarchs, and brought unprecedented prosperity. Never mind that Putin benefited handsomely from the chaos of the 90s and was busy creating his own oligarchy to replace the one he vanquished. People bought the story anyway, and enough were content to trade their political freedom for stability and prosperity. And when that story ran its course and the people started getting restless, Putin spun a new tale. He annexed Crimea, invaded the Donbass, menaced the West, and told Russians that they were a mighty great power that was reclaiming its pride of place in the world. And this new story was a big hit. Russians appeared willing to trade political freedom and prosperity for the promise of empire. Putin's popularity soared and he looked invincible. But the euphoria from Putin's Crimea drug finally appears to be wearing off. And if one thing was clear from Putin's lackluster live call-in program yesterday, it was this. For the first time, it seems that the great storyteller has run out of good stories to tell the Russian people. And that puts us in uncharted territory as Russia enters a volatile political season. We may be about to see Putin without a legitimizing myth. We may be about to get our first look at the emperor without any clothes. Keep telling me what you think in the comments section, on the Power Vertical's Twitter feed, and on our Facebook page. I'm Brian Whitmore, and that was The Daily Vertical.